My fellow Americans, tonight I'd like to talk with you about immigration. For more than 200 years, our tradition of welcoming immigrants from around the world has given us a tremendous advantage over other nations. It has shaped our character as a people with limitless possibilities. But today, our immigration system is broken, and everybody knows it. So, what are we going to do now? Hi, I'm Kevin Baker. And I'm Love Chung. Comprehensive immigration reform has been a hot issue in Congress for the past few years, but President Obama's recent announcement of executive action catapulted it to the top of the news cycle. Our community is made up of many immigrant groups, people who are personally affected by the federal action on this topic. We spoke with Senator Benjamin Cardin, who represents our state of Maryland, to get his views on the recent difficulty to pass comprehensive immigration reform on the federal level. I think originally it was tough economic times. People were looking for scapegoats as to why the economy wasn't doing better and why there wasn't enough jobs. So it's time for us to stand up for the American worker for a change. One thing you didn't hear last night in the president's remarks was any concern about recent immigrants' salaries, American workers' difficulties finding a job, the steady decline in wages that have occurred in this country. Former Republican Congresswoman Michelle Bachman has a different view on the issue. Let's face it, if these were conservative Republicans that were um, coming illegally into the United States, the last thing President Obama would do is seek to give amnesty and citizenship and legal voting status to the people who were coming into the country. But exactly how many immigrants have entered this country? According to the most recent census, 308 million people live in the United States. Out of this group, there might be more illegal immigrants than you think. 10 million Americans are undocumented immigrants. But this isn't just an issue with numbers. It's an issue that's keenly connected to the lives of everyone that comes across our borders. We wanted to find that connection, so we went to its source, the immigrants themselves. Ana Gonzalez is a Mexican immigrant who is still undocumented. In fact, she was arrested outside the White House at a rally promoting the rights of undocumented persons. She talked to us about the reasons she stepped up to protect her freedoms. The sad reality, however, is that most immigrants have to go through miles of legal red tape to become citizens. Kelly N. Lego is a respected immigration attorney in our community, and she cares deeply about this issue. She spoke with us about the need for reform in current immigration legislation. My name is Kelly Nicole Lego, and I am an immigration attorney here in Columbia, Maryland. I am a solo practitioner, managing attorney, owner of MVP Law Group. Currently, Miss Lego said that before any change could happen in her profession, there would have to be comprehensive immigration reform. The problem with this is, if you're here in a legal status, we need Congress to act because there is no path to citizenship or lawful permanent resident status. Right now, currently, in our system, there's only deferred action, prosecutorial discretion, those types of things. There's no path. Throughout this process, we have gained new respect for the benefits that come with U.S. citizenship, benefits that most immigrants want to have. We spoke to immigrants and citizens alike to see what U.S. citizenship means to them. The U.S. citizenship, it's a huge thing. It's a ticket to opportunity. It's a ticket to live in a country that will respect your individual views. And for all those reasons, uh, it's something that we value, but we want to make it available. Ser libre. Sobre todo ser libre, no ser perseguida, porque uno tiene miedo de salir a la calle y no regresar a su casa. Yo creo que el ser ciudadano de los Estados Unidos nos va a ser libre, por fin. Eso es para mí, es libertad. Being a U.S. citizen means to me being on a level playing field. 
It means that I have a say in who creates the laws that govern me. It means that <laughs> I'm tongue-tied because it means so much. Like, I, I, I understand why people file, you know, to become naturalized citizens. No tuviera la, la, la documentación, yo sería la mujer más feliz del mundo. Porque aquí da todo, pedimos eso. Yo pienso que el ser ciudadano de este país es porque amo a este país. ¿entiendes? Amo a este país. Y, y el hecho de ser ciudadano es porque puedo luchar en todo aspecto en beneficio de este país que me da la oportunidad de ser una persona eh, digna, vivir dignamente en este país. So, what are we going to do now? Now, the president's proposal incorporates a great deal of what we did in the Senate. So from a policy point of view, I agree with what the president has done. The problem is it's not permanent. The problem is it can be changed at any time. The problem is it's not comprehensive enough. Only Congress can do that. So I understand the president's actions. I support the president's actions. But the best thing for us to do is for Congress to take up the subject and pass a comprehensive permanent immigration bill so people know their status, know how they can proceed. The international community knows how America will treat people who are coming here and want to become American citizens. So we have a clear policy uh, for immigration. Only Congress can do that. These are the students of our school, Hammond High. They are of different colors. Different ethnicities. And different stories. But they all want the same thing. To live in our house. Nuestra, Nuestra casa. casa.